What is up guys, it's Shu here, bringing you another review on One Punch Man. And I gotta say guys, this episode was great. I was not expecting this episode to be as wonderful, honestly, as it was. I mean, you guys can complain about the animation if you want, but personally, what I take away from this episode is that we got some really important information, some top-notch fighting, and... I just enjoyed this episode. So, the tournament ends, you know, as it as it was last episode. We have Siryu getting the, the medals and, you know, all the recognitions and whatnot. And out of nowhere, we see the monsters showing up. After the warning of, you know, monsters are, you know, outside the stadium. And they actually arrive and we see, like, these three crows bringing in some of the former contestants who have been knocked out previously and we see this monster named Gogetsu and he actually was the former champion of this tournament uh, previously and he actually is giving them the opportunity to say all right you guys you're gonna become monsters everyone at first starts to get a little wary about it. it's like how and it's like he's explains his situation that how he after this tournament he was almost killed by a monster but he was taken to the monster association and they offered him an opportunity to cooperate with them so that he could become a monster and you know basically be on their side he didn't hesitate and he actually took the opportunity and sure enough he becomes this huge ass monster and now he's basically returning the favor to these people and saying you either have the opportunity to become a monster and live as free as you want and do what you want now that the monsters are going to basically take over this planet or this earth or you could just die and we see a lot of people's resolves quickly change throughout it all like they actually decide to go with it uh and of course it was mostly the weaker kind uh, we see how one of the first ones is like this wimpy looking dude who gets all muscular and they're, they're like their desires truly come out it, and as one after another changes we see like the evil guy who was punched by uh, uh, Saitama who becomes a monster he actually has a pretty tran a smooth transitional uh, transformation into a monster and he is ready to go after Saitama but Siryu, as calm as he is, he's like, all right, you know what? I'm going to deal with these guys. And so now that we have several people that have already transformed into monsters, Siryu actually goes and fights these guys, makes easy work of them and taking them down. And it, it almost seems like he's not really having much of a struggle. I thought it was funny, too, but like before he actually initiates his fight. He looks at the girl that handed him the trophy. You know, you're kind of cute, you know. Will you go on a date with me if I resolve this? She's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, whatever. But it was kind of funny how he was making kind of slight work of everyone that was there. Uh, obviously, not Gogetsu and the others, but those that had just transformed into monsters. And while that's going on, we get to see Garu and Watchdog Man for a little bit. Uh, we actually see... A, some action that Watchdog Man actually does. Honestly, I'd like to see more of it. Uh, he is a weird hero, and he's mostly animal at this point, at least in my opinion. But this guy makes destroying monsters easy. Like he is just taking them down with no real problems. And Garo, after watching him take down these monsters, decides now is his opportunity. They actually start fighting. Uh, Watchdog actually says, you know, are you human or are you monster? That's probably like the third person that has actually said that about Garo. Because honestly, he could be both. and Or he could be the, like some kind of a middle, if you guys want to say it like that. But this dude actually starts uh, going after Watchdog. But Watchdog actually kind of gives him a hard time. He's got speed and ability. Like he's, he's got him on the run. He can't really you know deflect his attacks that much he's just kind of you know trying to hold off of his i guess as best as he can uh but we also see like tank top here and moomin rider also trying to defend the hospital uh from monsters moomin rider having a difficult time and then having 
tank top come and just knocking out that the other monster off of him so we're seeing people all around just having difficulties and more and more monsters are actually being made we see that during the conversation that i guess the uh, I, I don't remember his name the uh like a i guess advisor or whatever of uh orochi actually tells him you know the plan that they were working on first to let the monsters show themselves and kind of roam freely uh, get someone from the hero association which they have already achieved they've gotten one of the uh, one of the children of the executive so they have them and thirdly to recruit more monsters more monsters that are worthy of helping out and you know they've gone to prisons and they've already released a lot of those uh, monster cells to these inmates and being free where they've also uh, now with this tournament that just ended they've had people converting so it, all around people are becoming monsters and monsters that are already there are giving heroes issues they're terrorizing everybody and it's it's just an all-around just battle everywhere uh, and Siryu actually trying to take on Gugetsu gets his ass handed to him pretty badly like this is probably the worst he has ever had a situation this is actually the worst situation he's ever been and one of the people that were uh, I guess a uh, former competitor but a rival of uh, Siryu uh, Bakuza uh, he actually decides to eat the remaining monster shells and actually become like like die he actually dies or and then comes back as a huge ass like dragon level monster same level as uh gogetsu but he is only after siryu and he demolishes him as well um i do want to give props to snake and uh lightning max for trying to you know have a kind of like a final stand with siryu and he realizes like he needs heroes and he made fun of heroes despite the fact that you know they says that they're uh you know weak and the weak shouldn't do anything and all this other stuff but now that he's been in that situation it just it seems like he's really lost it all and we have saitama coming out of nowhere he's serious and he hears the call that siri was making about heroes coming out and sure enough our man saitama arrives so i really enjoy that ending where he just comes and takes up you know lightning max and snake out of the way and then he's ready to go up against gugetsu so this is going to be getting good this is like the one punch man that i've been missing but guys let me know what you guys think in the comment section below as always stay safe take care of yourselves and others and i will catch you later Ba -da -da.